Under pressure from colleagues and constituents, Congressman George Santos steps away from two House committees. He says it's only temporary while he's investigated for campaign finance violations. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. Are you confident that you will be cleared? Yes, I am. Tuesday, Congressman George Santos said he submitted a request to House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to temporarily step back from the Small Business Committee and the Science, Space, and Technology Committee. The two met Monday. I think it was an appropriate decision. Going through ethics uh, on some of these concerns, and we'll make sure to we'll allow them. The voters have elected him. He'll have a voice here in Congress, and until he um, answers all those questions, then he'll, at that time, he'll be able to be seated on committee. Santos supporter Congresswoman Elise Stefanik was asked if he should resign altogether. And it's going to play itself out, but ultimately voters are going to make that decision, whether it's in the primary election or in the general election. But Santos' freshman Long Island GOP colleagues, Congressman Nick LaLota and Anthony D. Esposito, disagree, saying in part, this is a classic case. Of someone quitting right before they were going to get fired. He should still do the right thing and resign. Santos' announcement comes days after his campaign treasurer, Nancy Marks of Shirley, resigned. We tried to reach her Tuesday night. Hi, this message is for Nancy. In a new interview, Santos says he would not have lied about his education if he could campaign again. No, I don't think lying is excusable ever, period. Right? There's no circumstance, especially if you're legislating for the American people right now. We're told in a meeting Santos apologized to his House Republican colleagues for being a distraction. A new poll finds that 78% of voters in his district say he should resign. In the newsroom, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.